All right. So the coin we are covering today is Mirror Protocol, which has kind of silently been creeping up during the recent market correction. Today, we are trading at $4.70 per coin, down just about 2% today with a market cap of only $365 million. Uh, but over the past month, Mirror is up 34% during the same time that the wider market has really been falling. Uh, a lot of this move up um, in the last month or so does have to do with Gemini announcing support for the MIR token on their platform. Uh, but I also think in, in general, the market is starting to open its eyes to Mirror and the rest of the synthetic market space and category. Um, and if you aren't familiar with Mirror, uh, they are the Terra blockchain based protocol to create synthetic assets that mimic or mirror the price behavior of traditional assets um, as well as digital assets too. Uh, but the the use case kind of is, you know, this allows investors who may be outside the U.S., uh, for example, in areas that due to regulations or what have you, they, they don't allow their citizens to take part in the U.S. stock market. Uh, this allows them to gain exposure to stocks like Tesla or Twitter, for example. Um, and it's also of interest to U.S. based investors, too, who, who would like to trade these traditional stock assets 24 7, 365 days a week, similar to, to what we're used to in, crypt, or in crypto, um, as opposed to, you know, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. only Monday through Friday, like this U.S. stock market um, and not on holidays. Um, but uh, and also, you know, as opposed to a Robin Hood whose mission it is to democratize finance for people across across the globe, a protocol like Mirror is is actually doing that and going even a step further and completely decentralizing mirror assets instead of you know a, a very inefficient and centralized service like like a robin hood um and just like robin hood mirror is even releasing access to pre-ipo assets with the launch of mirror v2 uh which should go fully live at the end of this month um so expect that to you know, potentially be a big catalyst in the short term, but obviously not financial advice, not a financial advisor, impossible to predict these things, um, especially in the short term. Um, but uh, but yeah, Mirror, you know, they, they certainly have their competitors in the space. Synthetics is is the Ethereum, Ethereum version, uh, but I think the advantage to Mirror, especially in the short term, uh, is quicker transactions and lower fees since Mirror is, is running on, on top of the, the Terra blockchain. Um, also, I, I think the team and the product are superior to synthetics, in, in my opinion. Uh, and Mirror also has about a one one third the market cap of synthetics right now, so there's just more upside to be had. Uh, Binance is also obviously getting into synthetic assets, but I don't think they will be as quick and as nimble as the Mirror team. Uh, version two, the version two migration has gone very well, and, and with around two billion dollars in assets already locked, I think I think Mirror um, is possibly one of those kind of great undervalued sleeping gyms that could really pop and surprise everyone in the next three to four months or so. Um, always tough to make price predictions in this current market or in any crypto market. Uh, but I can certainly see Mirror 5xing in the next three to four months, putting them around, you know, still just like about a $1.7, $1.8 billion market cap. Um, tough, tough to predict, but, um, but I think that's certainly realistic. Um, and I think it's a good thing that they have competitors with, with Binance and synthetics. I think Binance is going to do a huge PR push around the further rollout of their product. Um, so I think a, a rising tide certainly can lift all boats in, in this category. Um, but I, I, I think this is, you know, can certainly be kind of a big category or thematic theme, um, within Q3, Q4. Uh, you know, we have the DeFi wave or the NFT wave. Now it's at the beginning of the DeFi wave. And this is kind of, you know, it's definitely a DeFi project. Uh, there's staking available on Mirror too. Um, but I think this could be, the synthetics assets could be just a wave within itself um, in the next, you know, late Q3 or so. Um, so that's kind of what what I'm predicting. And, and just, um, but yeah, just an overall very, very interesting project. Um, let me know what your, your thoughts are on, pro, are on Mirror Protocol, if you guys are Mirror MIR holders, uh, where you think it's going from here, your price predictions. Uh, that's always good to hear. And, and let me know of any other kind of gems you're taking a look at or, or stocking up on now, especially during these this wider market correction where, where things are you know kind of on sale. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's our take on MIR. Uh, give us a like and subscribe uh, to, the, to the YouTube video. Download the podcast if you're listening on, on Apple and, and iTunes. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's all, folks. We'll be back tomorrow with another coin analysis.